Welcome to Ron Will's Money Matters. Don't spend money before you have it. Don't spend money before you have it. I'm going to tell you what, and that's why a lot of people get in trouble. You know, they spend their money on stuff or they, they don't even have the money in their pockets. They haven't been blessed with that money. They haven't been paid. Yet they got obligations a few months into the future. You know, I'm like, no, don't do it, especially in these times. You know, if you're going to spend money on something, you got to be smart with it. Don't spend money on something, one, unless you have it in your account. In fact, I've said that for credit cards. Look, I told y'all, when I use my credit cards, I already had the payment for it right there. (laughs) You know, even if I know I got money coming, even if I know I got money coming, I don't spend, I don't spend, I have never used my credit card, never. Well, in recent years, let me, let me, let me adjust that. I ain't going to say never because I told y'all. Ron's credit was jacked up one time. I have no shame in saying that. And in fact, that's the lesson I learned from it and I'm sharing with you. Even with credit cards. When I spend credit cards on something, it's really more to keep my credit up and get my FICO score up and, you know, all that good jazz. Because unfortunately, to really do some stuff, you need credit nowadays. It, if you really want to get big, you need to have it. I mean, some cases to get a job, definitely to get a place to live. Uh, to get a car. So I was like, okay, I'm still going to use it. But, you know, like I've said before, I don't use it all, you know. And I don't even for my big purchases, I always have the money for it. I could pay cash for everything I've gotten. But I said, okay, let me make this look good on the credit. Once the uh, charge is posted and everything, I just simply pay it no matter how big because I already had the money. Because I don't spend it before I have it. I make sure I have it and stuff. Now, one thing I will do, I will look at some stuff and plan for some stuff. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Like, you can plan, you can do anything. Okay, I'm going to get this when the money shows up. Only time I would go against that if it's an absolute emergency. But that's why I say make sure you have a savings. If you can, a savings. A savings are... You know, of course, I say save it and then invest in income producing assets, but also for emergencies. So even then, even then, and even then, I might not use the credit card. If it's a serious emergency, I got the cash, I'll just pay it. Because depending on the card, you know, you might or might not have interest. Might or might not have interest to pay. But, you know, even then, sometimes it's not even about a credit. People are already planning, they got their, uh, uh, you know, they've already spent money on some. They they heavily leveraged. Well, not even leverage. I don't know if leverage is the right word. Hmm. I don't know. They're just spending money before they have it. They think they're going to have it. And they're making plans because they think they're going to get paid in two weeks, three weeks or something. I'm going to tell you something with that. That's not a good way to live, especially in these times. Because I wish I had a dime. A little, a little dime every time I've seen some people laid off and everything from a job. You know what? I've always said I've had a thousand jobs. So, you know, I had a job as a contractor one time too. <laughs> Working with a government agency, right? Yeah, I've had a little bit of everything. <laughs> I remember it was a job and I was doing it real well too. I mean, I was doing great work. I got a letters of commendation and everything. One day I came to work. They say, you can't work here anymore. I was like, what? Oh, the contract wasn't renewed. I was like, what? Now, the contract was eventually brought back, but still, I was like, wait a minute. I'm doing all this work. All of a sudden, I'm sitting home. I'm like, what the hell? Seriously, look, here's the problem. Here's the issue. You really can't. You really can't. Now, there's a few things that you're going to have to take. You're going to have to have faith on and really work hard for because you know if you got a car note, or rent or mortgage payment. Well, you better have the money for that. And even then, you got to keep that up. But here's something real quick on that. Uh, that's why, that once again, the savings come in. In fact, I would recommend that you work towards having three months of savings for all of your regular bills. Three months. I recommend that highly. It's tough. 
let's be real, it's tough, especially in this day and age, but it's something that you should have in your mind. At a minimum, a month. Hey, if you can get a whole year or something, shoot, you're doing well. Like the longest, but a minimum, a month. Money to carry you through for a month. A friend of mine, uh, because of how they work, they going to go a month without being paid. But they they leverage their money pretty well and everything. You know, they uh, got everything set up, got their savings and everything. But see, some people, they don't do that. They don't do that. You know, that job they on, nice and cushy, they start spending, they spending like months in advance thinking about stuff, looking at all this stuff. And, you know, they might get it through credit or something thinking, well, you know, my, my money in May will pay for it. You don't know if you're getting that money in May. You can't, you can't, you can't take that chance. You got to be disciplined in how you spend your money. You got to be disciplined. The best discipline, don't spend it unless you already have it. Like I said, even on credit cards, don't spend money unless you already have it. It's sitting right there. It's in the account. Because I'm going to tell you what, everything is shaky nowadays. You never know what's going to happen. I, I'll give you another great example. We just experienced it with the lockdowns and people being laid off their job. They didn't expect it. And even with people getting some, uh, you know, federal like unemployment and regular unemployment, everything, there were some people, there were a lot of people who had to sell their homes. They had to move out their apartments. They were uh, foreclosed on. Many people lost their business. Tomorrow's not promised. It really isn't. You know, even with what I'm doing, you know, I'm making a good amount on YouTube, right? But, and I mentioned this in the last podcast when I talked about that ad apocalypse. I, that's one of the reasons I got like different websites across the across the web because I was like, as much money as I make on here, you never know it'll be that one day and it's like boom, it's just some changes. You never know. Trust me on that. I don't, you know. So I got stuff spread out. I'm not going to do anything based on thinking. Oh, okay, I'm gonna get money from here. I'll, I'll do some stuff based on stuff I can control. In fact, I focus more on what I can control directly anyway. So, anyway, I want y'all to think about that. I want y'all to do that. Just get it out of that habit. Only way you spend money on something is if you got it right. Not even on a credit card. Have the money right. They know you already got it in your account. And like I say, sometimes it could be quicker, easier to spend. Use your credit card. That's cool. Make sure you got the payment right there, no matter what it is. All right? Just get in that habit. Trust me. Trust me. It's better that way. You don't know what's going to happen the next day. And I do mean that. Plenty of people, I've seen plenty of people get laid off uh, from different jobs, uh, both in the government sector, uh, uh, private sector, and everything. And they thought everything was cool when they went to work that morning. All right? So, y'all know the deal, though. Let's go make that money.